What's up everybody, Craig here. Um, I needed to redo this video uh, for a few reasons, um, but the, the biggest reason is that it's a lot easier to create a USB install drive of Mavericks uh, with this, this way. But also, um, if you follow my old, old video, if you do a clean install and mount the Mavericks app to the thumb drive doing the old way, basically when you install Mavericks, there won't be a recovery partition and if there's no rec recovery partition then uh, find my Mac won't work so if you want your find my Mac to work do it this method uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure um, that you have a few things first is an 8 gigabyte thumb drive uh, 8 gigabyte or bigger I have a 16 gigabyte thumb drive um, second is you want to make sure you want to be uh, running on Mavericks or the latest version of Mountain Lion and if you are, you need to download the Mavericks install app from the App Store, um, which uh, once you click download on it, uh, it'll launch, it'll basically launch this. And you just go ahead and command Q to get out of it, and then that way you get your app right there. So you're going to need that, um, and then you're going to need your thumb drive, and then again, uh, running either in Mavericks or the latest version of Mountain Lion. So, without further ado, um, what you need to do is you need to go to your thumb drive, you need to erase it and put it into Mac OS Extended Journal. Uh, untitled is fine because it's going to rename it, so go ahead and hit erase. And all you need is one command line for terminal, and it will be in the description, so don't worry, this will be in the description, I promise. So you'll just highlight this in the description and then you'll paste so again this will be in the description so you'll just copy it and paste it into terminal and once you do you hit enter it's going to ask for your password and that's it you're going to wait about 20 minutes and it's going to be good to go you don't have to do anything else there's no um, uh, you know showing hidden files hiding hidden files any of that stuff it's good to go um, you can just hold the option key and then boot up from this installer um, I will attach the ending of my video to this um, because it's pretty much the same uh, except for the beginning part where you do this uh, instead of all that uh, hidden file stuff so a um, lot better your find my Mac will work and everything will be cool All right, now that we have our bootable media, um, make sure it's in, and then you're gonna go ahead and restart. Restart while holding the option button the whole time. Don't let it go. So you're gonna hold the option button, and it should come up yellow, which means it's a bootable media, a bootable operating system. Okay, you can go over to the OS 10 base system. You click on it, okay. All right, now remember, you just don't go ahead and start installing OS 10 Mavericks. You have to wipe your drive, so you're going to need to use Disk Utility, which when we hit the next button will be in the utilities I'll show you okay now um, we are going to go to utilities and then disk utility we are going to I'm going to click on my solid state drive right there I am going to hit erase and I'm going to make sure it's uh, in OS Mac. Yeah, let me focus that. Mac OS Extended Journal. Okay. I'm gonna name it Mavericks. Okay. And I just click erase. Once you click erase, your whole hard drive's gone. Everything's erased. Everything you had on that's gone. And now that it's done okay I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out and then there we are back at the Maverick screen again I'm gonna hit continue I'm gonna hit agree and then I'm gonna install it on Mavericks 
and that's it. That's a clean install.